Good morning, happy Thursday. If you're new here, my name is Brianna from A Bubbly Classroom, and this is my eighth year teaching. I teach second grade. I always forget to introduce myself in the videos, so those of you that remind me, thank you. Um, I am just getting ready for kids to come in. It's 7.02. I got here about 6.30 and just kind of opened up my stuff for today and made sure my like math workshop PowerPoint is um, ready for math. And then now I'm going to just sit here and check some of this, uh, some of these daily math reviews from yesterday. If you don't know what I'm talking about with daily math reviews, it is just, I can't, all of these have writing on them, but let me see if I can find one. Hang on. Okay, I found one. It is just something that I change every week. It's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and just a few problems of things we've been working on. And then uh, over here, it's just out of 20 each day. And then I put kind of a score at the top. I don't put this in the grade book, but it's good to send home. That way they can see, like if they got a 20 here and a five here, this is something, a skill they need to work on, but this they're doing really well in. So just something that I take notes from and make groups out of, and then parents know um, things they can work on at home. This is not my idea. This, my teacher bestie created these in this template. Uh, so I will not be sharing it, I'm so sorry, but I've, Pretty, it's basic. I mean, it's just five boxes. Um, and then every week I just change the problems to kind of match what we did that week or a couple weeks, like the past few weeks. Um, but yeah, and it helps keep skills fresh too because some of that stuff, you know, we need to practice all year long. So some of those skills stay on there most of the year. So I'm gonna go through and check, and then they just turn it in every day, and I check that days. So I'm gonna go through and check uh, all the Wednesdays from yesterday, and then kids will be here in about five minutes. Oh my gosh, today has been so good. I did not come on here during specials. Um, our team got together to make sure we knew how to post grades because we're doing we're doing like four and a half week progress reports now. So we just have to like go in and post everything, even though there's like some of them is only like one or two grades because you know how it is first couple weeks you don't take grades and then we've taken like one or two grades um, in each subject since then. So it's a new thing they're doing. Um, I guess it's good to let parents kind of know where they're at halfway through the nine weeks. But I feel like from now to the end of the nine weeks is when a lot of the grades fill in. <clears throat> but anyways, um, it's lunch now. Reading and writing went so well. I felt like I actually got to meet with two reading groups today, which was nice. And um, during writing, I didn't meet with anyone specifically. I kind of walked around and monitored and helped because today was the first day I showed them like publishing paper. And I just print a ton of, let me go get it and I'll show you. I just have a ton of these printed. They're from Catherine S on TPT. I'll link that below, but I just print them with this on the front and then this is on the back of all of them because a lot of them just need this per page, but if they needed more for that page, they could go onto the back. And then uh, when we're done, we'll put a blank cover and a blank back cover. So it'll be a three page book, cover, back cover, and I introduced that to them today, so I kind of just walked around and helped them like find their story in their notebook that they just finished because they finished page three yesterday and then showed them kind of how we take that page and move it to this final draft paper. And they didn't have to do that, but majority of them chose to. Some of them just wanted to keep working in their notebook, which is fine. And then uh, talked about how this is the time if you're moving it to this final draft paper to make any corrections or fix up anything that you want to fix up or if you wanted to add some words in this is a great time to do it so that was reading and writing math was good uh i did two groups <clears throat> um 
it was a little chaotic because I already was like our technology center. I assigned them lessons and I already wasn't working this morning. So that was a little crazy. I had to like pivot, but I always keep like a stack of stuff um, for each group. And I just pulled something out, said, here you go, work with a partner or on your own. And it go went right along with what we've been looking at, so. That was my food finished heating up in the microwave, so I'm gonna go grab that. I just brought one of those little meals today. And I have about 10 minutes, so shovel it in. Ah, it's 4.45. I have not met my goal today. Um, gosh, just got plans done. Um, I had to go down the copy room. Oh my God. Okay, th this is where we're at. This is where we're at right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just ignore it. <laughs> um, I had to go down to the copy room and make a copy of the wish list for Scholastic. And then I realized the Scholastic book order book that was in my mailbox is for October. So I don't want to send that home yet because um, like the deals are for October. So I don't want parents to like Think they're gonna go on and order those deals and I don't think they start until October 1st so I looked all around the front office and could not find September anywhere I don't know why I never got it it's so weird but um I went online and found the PDF version so I just printed it and I'm gonna go down in the morning and make copies of it for my kids and then we will go through and do our little wish list let me get that so I can show you what Okay, I just covered up our class code and the due date, and then the kids put their name here. This has been the best thing I have found for getting parents to order Scholastic books. And I especially want them to order in September because one of my friends on Instagram reminded me the perks for September are amazing. Like 10,000 bonus points and all kinds of free books and stuff. So, um, I feel like Brown Bag Teacher made this, but I just, I can't remember. I'll find it and link it below. Um, so what I do is I just take like 10 minutes with the kids and we look through, I'll pull up the color one on the screen and we'll pull it up and we'll kind of look through and get kind of excited about some of these books coming out and some of the deals on some of the books. And then what I do is I show them how I would fill this out. So we kind of go through and I say, okay, if I want this book, I'll put the title here and then I show them where, where to find the number. And they put the little item number there. And then I think that's the price, yeah. And then that way I just staple this to the front of, normally it's the booklet, but we're making it work. And then I send this home in their Friday folder. So when parents get this, they can see what their child really wants out of here and makes it super easy for them. And then they can just go online and order them. If they want more than this, I just tell them to turn it over and put them on the back. And then uh, I print it in color so that it stands out in the folder. So that's how I encourage families to order scholastic books and get their kids great books and support our classroom. I will say that I think I'm going to, in October, the October one, there's a ton of great uh, like things to buy as a teacher. So I don't know, we'll see. Like, I think the cool bean or something is like a dollar. So I was thinking that would be, I don't know. There's just like a lot of great dollar books or 10 for $10, which comes out to a dollar uh, to order to give them as holiday gifts in December. So I'll probably end up buying those in October, but I'm sure I'll find plenty of things to purchase in September because I love Scholastic books. I just love new books in general. Um, but I got plans done for next week, so that was good. I have my stack of things I'm going to copy for my team for next week. Then I have a stack of just stuff I need to look through, some homework that got turned in today, and unlocks, and then daily math reviews. So I'm leaving myself a little stack for the morning. I'm going to go copy this in the morning. I could copy this during specials, though, if I needed to. So I'm just going to leave this to the side. I'll put a little, probably put a little sticky note on that. Copy. 
and then I got everything ready for tomorrow. We're gonna do ketchup and pickles again. That worked out really well last Friday. So anything, we're gonna do like our regular math lessons and then they will do their classwork assignment, turn it in, and then they'll have ketchup and pickles time to catch up anything in their folder that's not done or pickle something that they wanna do. But I'm gonna get out of here. I'm tired. It's almost five o'clock. I knew this was gonna happen though because we had Monday off. So I'm just kind of off this week, which is fine. I'll take a day off and be a little off the rest of the week. Maybe, maybe do I take that? Yeah, I take that, I take that. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great Thursday and I'll see you on Friday. Yay, Friday! It's Friday, we made it to Friday. Um, it is seven o'clock. I got here just a little bit ago and got my food put away and all the lights turned on and now I'm sitting here. I'm gonna check these daily math reviews and going to check these few unlocks that got turned in yesterday. Um, this homework I'm not gonna check right now. I don't think. Because uh, once I check this, then I'm going to stuff Friday folders. We send Friday, uh, folders home every Friday. And I just keep a little bin right here of uh, work as I grade it or check it. And then we put graded work in there. Anything that comes from the office, like there's something in there. I think it's about picture day. I'll put that in there. And so they'll take home their regular take home folder today, their agenda, and their Friday folder. So I'm going to go ahead and get those stuffed and ready and then kids will be here. I am wearing this because we are wearing red, white, and blue for Patriot Day tomorrow. But um, I had like a red school shirt that was like all red and when I put it on it just did not look good with this. So I'm wearing my Pizza Planet shirt. It's red and white though uh, that I got from Disney. And then this is, I love this like little blazer from Express. I got this so long ago, but it is, uh, soft and comfy and I love it. Friends, it is 420 and I'm still here. <laughs> Definitely not meeting my goal today, but got everything ready for Monday. Got all my copies put away. Sent my parent email. I've already gotten one scholastic order from a family after sending them home today. We did the wish list and I stapled it together and put it in their Friday folder. And we've already got one order, so that is awesome. Okay, uh, for Monday, like I said last week, this is kind of how I set myself up. Here's my two math groups, what we're doing whole group and what we're doing small group. Here's my phonics and grammar, reading, writing, social studies. Uh, I just have little notes for myself of what I need to remember that we're doing. That way I don't have to scour through my plans again. And like one little step but it helps me kind of process through what my day is going to look like what the copies are that I need I got my um, powerpoints ready for small group time so I got our math workshop and reading workshop powerpoints ready for Monday and then I was like oh yeah I'm doing good it was like 350 and realized I didn't make daily math reviews for next week so and I do not want to break that consistency because it's been such a great way to end our math block. So we wrap up, we do number talks at the end to wrap up, and then I send them off to do their daily math review and have snacks. So it's been a really good ending to our math block that I don't want to mess up. So went ahead and got that ready. And I also don't want to try to get here early Monday morning. And I'm going to show you lots of questions about leadership teams, jobs, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and film something real quick. I think I'll leave it as a separate. That way, if that's what you're looking for, you can go back and find it easily. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. We'll just see what happens. But the reason I didn't chat with you is during planning, I went to the coffee room and stayed there the whole time. And then during lunch, we earned lunch outside and everyone was finally here today and the weather was finally nice, so we had to have both of those to have lunch outside. So finally got to have lunch outside today. It was great. Um, have a little bit of stuff on my table to take care of Monday morning. I've got these I'm gonna cut up for their like point of view task cards for a reading workshop. Some stuff I need to check. 
and then that stuff I'm gonna copy on Monday morning. Then tracking our goals. So on Monday, I'll definitely have to track a no for my leaving on time goal. Hopefully I can make my water goal. But the green is no's, so I'm doing pretty good. I only have three no's so far. Um, no, one, two, three, I have four no's. Uh, three time and one water no, so. Uh, they're loving tracking their goals. We forgot yesterday and they were like, Miss Pat, we forgot to track our goals. And so we had to like stop. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and get them out. Let's do it. I don't want to get off that consistency either, but um, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. I'm going to go have some good dinner and I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.